Hey everyone, it's John from Campfire Hosting here. Today, we will be showing you the fastest way to download and install the Prominence 2 Minecraft mod pack, as well as how to create a Prominence 2 server that all your friends can join. Prominence is a comprehensive mod pack designed to offer new experiences across combat, exploration, magic, and technology. The mod pack includes tons of custom content, such as quests, end game gear, custom skill trees, and a story campaign that progresses with the player's advancement. Let's dive right in. The first step is to download and install the CurseForge app. The CurseForge app lets you easily find, download, and manage mods for Minecraft. So to start, we will Google CurseForge and click on the first link here. Click Get CurseForge app on the upper right hand corner and then click download standalone. Once CurseForge is finished downloading, locate the installer, usually in your downloads folder. Double click to run the installer to install CurseForge. Once you have this window open, we'll click next, click I agree, click next, and let CurseForge install. Once that's done, we can now browse for the Prominence 2 mod pack. We'll click browse and we will type Prominence 2. And this is the mod pack we want. It was last updated six days ago using Minecraft version 1.20.1. We'll click install and let that install as well. Since there are 467 mods in this mod pack, it will take some time to download. I will fast forward here just to save us some time. Once the installation is done, you can go ahead and click play. And once you're here, you can click play to launch Minecraft with the mod pack. Once the game is launched, you can now create a world and try out the RPG in single player. The next part of the video will showcase how to create a Prominence 2 server using campfire hosting so that all your friends can join you on this RPG adventure. For those who don't know, campfire hosting is a credit-based Minecraft server host that is only paid for what you play. Since credits are deducted only when your server is online, it is perfect if you and your friends are looking to play just a few hours a day. We are four times more affordable than traditional server hosts and you get two hours to set up and try for free. The first step is to sign up for an account if you haven't done so already. Once you're logged in, you should see our control panel, which is where you create and manage your servers. Click add server. For server type, we will select fabric. For Minecraft version, we will select 1.20.1 as this is the version of the Prominence 2 mod. Give your server a name and give your server a subdomain. You will use a subdomain to connect to your server later on. Once you're done, click create server. Once you've created your server, click start. What this will do is load up your server for the first time to generate all of the world files needed to load the mod. Once the server is started, we now have the foundation we need. We can now stop the server and proceed with the final step, moving the mod files to the server. To stop the server, you can go to action and click save and stop server. While your server is stopping, we can go back to our CurseForge app, go back to our Prominence 2 mod. If you lost it, you can go back to Browse, type in Prominence 2, and this should be one of the first ones you see. And then click Download Server Pack using this button here. These are the server files you will need. Since this is a massive mod pack, it is quite large, so your download will take some time. The last step is moving the mod files to the server. We will do that using FileZilla. First, go to the File Managers tab and click Add SFTP User. These are just login credentials used to access your server. Give yourself a username and any password. Then click Create User. If your mods are small, you can use our online file manager. But this mod pack has hundreds of mods and the easiest way to move them into the server is using FileZilla. So you can scroll down here and you can download FileZilla for your operating system. 
since I have Windows, I will click on this Windows link and then click Download FileZilla Client. The basic version here is okay. Click Download. Once FileZilla is finished downloading, we can locate the installer, usually in the downloads folder once again. Double click the installer, click I agree. This free promotion we will decline, click next. Since I already have FileZilla installed, it will ask me to reinstall FileZilla, which is okay. But if this is your first time installing FileZilla, just click install FileZilla, click next, 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 and then click install. Once that's done, we can now start up FileZilla. Now go back to the File Managers tab, scroll down to where it says Connection Detail, and follow these steps, which I will also go over right now. So we will go to the upper left hand corner here, click on this button, and click New Site. For Host, we, well first for Protocol, we want to make sure we're selecting SFTP. For Host, we want to copy sftp.campfirehosting.com For port, we just want to copy 30,030 For our username, it is the user we created up here which is jwen prom 2 and for password, it was the password you created Once that's done, you can click connect and we have established a connection to our server Then, locate the prominence to server pack that we downloaded earlier which should be in your downloads folder we will right click and extract all and click extract which will take a few minutes once the files are extracted we will locate the files in FileZilla usually in our downloads folder you can see this is the folder we will drag all of these files into the server side and you can see here that there are 2700 files in queue so this will take a little while. If for whatever reason your queue stops, you can easily resume your queue by right clicking and clicking process queue. Once the files have been transferred to your server, we can now go back to our control panel, go to the generals tab, and since this is such a massive mod pack, we want to give our server more juice. So instead of the copper package, we'll go ahead and select at a minimum gold. Click update and go ahead and start your server. Once your server has started, you can now open up your prominence to Minecraft, go to multiplayer, click add server, and your server address is a subdomain that you created previously. Mine is prom2.campfirehosting.com. Click done, and you can now join your server. Thank you so much for watching. If you need additional help setting up, our support staff will be more than happy to get you set up. So please give this mod pack and campfire hosting a try, and we'll see you in the next video.